Hey peeps and fellow hashtag snowmageddon 2015 survivors. If you have no idea what I'm talking about because you don't live on the east coast of the United States or because you do live on the east coast of the United States but haven't left your room in a few days, um, we had a little bit of a blizzard the other day. If you had told me two years ago before I moved out here for college that I was gonna have to survive a real life blizzard, I would've been like, no way, nuh -uh, not gonna happen, I'm not going there. But in the last week or so, and this is gonna sound like absolute blasphemy to anyone from Southern California or anywhere where the weather is consistently 65 degrees Fahrenheit or above. Um, I've grown to, uh, God, this is horrible to say, um, appreciate the cold weather. Now don't get me wrong, there's still a lot of reasons that I really dislike the cold and I would definitely still prefer to live in a warmer climate. I was sitting at the bus stop today and it was below freezing, it was extremely windy, and it was snowing, and I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna make this video, I can't deal with this, but I persevered, and now I am here to tell you why the cold is not quite as horribly horrible as horrible can be. The first thing that's pretty great about cold, snowy weather is snow days, and I'm sure many of you have experienced them before, but you know what? It was my first one, so I got pretty excited. I was like, sitting there like expecting to go to class the next day and like have to commute half an hour to get there and then I actually be in class for three hours and then half an hour commute back but then all of a sudden I got an email that said transportation was banned throughout the entire state and I got so excited because that meant there was no class so I slept in and I spent the whole day in my nice warm house it was pretty great also, there are so many more things you can do guilt-free when it's below freezing outside, like turn up the heat all the way. When it's 70 degrees, you feel kind of guilty if you're cold and you have to turn up the heat because it kind of wastes energy and you can just put a jacket on. But when it's 15 degrees outside, ain't nobody gonna tell me what I do with my heat. I'm gonna make it like a sauna in here and nobody can shame me for it. Another thing is that you can take public transportation without having to make any excuses. I live about a 15 minute walk from campus, so when it's sunny and nice outside, everybody walks. But when there's snow on the ground, no one can judge you for taking the bus even if you're only going just a mile. And also, you can wear infinite layers. I get cold really easily, so I like to layer up. When you're inside, you can wear blankets on blankets on blankets on blankets until you're just a blanket monster. And when you're going outside, you have an excuse to wear infinite layers. For example, I could put on a scarf, and another scarf, and another scarf, and a hat, and another scarf, and another scarf, and another hat, and another, and another, and another, and another. I have a lot of scarves. Another! One more hat, and one more. And on top of this, I could wear five layers of pants and 20 jackets, and I would turn into a giant fluffy marshmallow that could probably survive getting hit by a car. Because if I got hit, I would just bounce away unharmed, protected by my vast layers of clothing. And finally, the best thing about the cold weather, in my opinion, is that you can spend all of your money on hot chocolate and tea. And I mean, I drink gallons of hot chocolate and tea all the time anyway, but I wish you guys could see just how many hot beverages I have consumed this last week. Just today, I went to brunch and I got a coconut hot chocolate. It was one of the most ridiculously amazing things I have ever consumed. Let me know down in the comments what your guys' favorite thing is about cold weather or your least favorite thing, or if you just generally prefer warm weather. I really wouldn't blame you. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. It's where we're sad. Joe, thanks, thanks for watching my video. On the right, you'll see a link to my previous video, which was a music video for a song about bacon. I put quite a bit of effort into it, so it'd be pretty cool if y'all went and checked that out if you haven't seen it already. And on the left, there's a link to a video that I made just over a year ago about being cold, um, where all I really did was complain about being cold. So if you want to see how my opinions of the cold have changed, you can go ahead and check that one out. Yo, bacon's where we're sad. Bacon's where we're sad. So where's my bacon at? Oh, shoot, it's recording. Huh. <sighs>